tried to run game on a nigga Who's butt wild with the trigger? Shame on a nigga Who tried to run game on a nigga Who's butt saw fuck ass up Yo, hot one, hot two, hot three, hot Yo, what's up, internet? This your boy, Hennessy Youngman, a.k.a. Henrock Allah, a.k.a. Henrock Obama. I've been getting a lot of emails from some of y'all out there, you know, that y'all see my last video, How to Be a Successful Artist, and y'all was like, Hennessy, that was, that was a good video, but, you know, a lot of shit in that video don't apply to me because I'm a nigga, you know? What, what am I supposed to do? How can I be a successful artist? And you know, you know, I stay bring y'all been bringing up a good point. Just because you you're not white, don't mean you can't be a successful artist. You know, because as a nigga artist, you man, you know, you could exploit the shit out of white people, and a lot of the guilt that white people have over shit they really don't got no control of. Like burn my toast the other day. I know if I told some crack on the street, I burnt my toast, and if I said it to him in a certain tone, a certain amount of anger, I know he'd apologize and most likely buy me some more toast. Basically, the first step is, you know, you should, you know, as a nigga artist, you gotta, like, you kinda gotta be angry, you know, you gotta, like, not, like, 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 you know, just, like, punching crackers in the face or, like, you know, like, nothing, like, violent, but, you know, you got to have this, like, this angry nigga exterior, so, to perfect this, you know, I suggest you should watch, um, you know, uh, footage of Pitbulls fighting, perhaps, or, you know, um, Maybe you should watch the Rodney King beating over and over again, um, you know, that, or maybe um, look at pictures of Emmett Till in his coffin. I mean, I'm getting angry just telling you this shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, or, you know, you should also watch that scene and do the right thing where Radio Raheem, you know, he gets choked to death. You know, I seen that, I seen that in the theater and, you know, it was like the river sticks came out of my eyes. I was so sad off of that, man. I was so angry. But, um, basically if you, you know, you perfect this, uh, this exterior, this angry nigga exterior, um, the white gallery directors and curators and general art audiences will, you know, you know, kind of be more into your shit, you know, you know, unapproachable, you know, think of that unapproachable. I call this next step the, the jazz principle, you know what I'm saying? It's like white people, they want to consume the, the, the exotic other, right, you know, because they really, even though they want to come see your artwork, want to see you as an artist, they don't really want to understand you, because if they understood you, you'd be just like them, and white people don't want the nigga artists being just like them, you know what I'm saying, it's pretty simple, so, you know, I mean, and, and ever since white people took over the world, there's not much um, that's new for them to do or see, so as niggas, you know, we got we got to keep them entertained, we got to keep them guessing, we got to be different, you know what I'm saying, like on some Miles Davis shit, you know, and you know, and if we don't, you know, keep white folks entertained and guessing, you know, some other brown race, some other brown race might step in on some Bobby Jindal shit and, and take our place. In fact, I think we about, we about seven years overdue for a riot in Los Angeles. Looking at you, you've been disappointed, you know, you just can't riot when the Lakers win, you know what I'm saying? You got to bring it, just do it, you know? Above all, you know, you got to keep them white fuckers away from the man behind the curtain. Uh, you know, don't let them know that your dick be regular or that you have a savings account or that you recycle, you know, because that shit is bad business for nigga artists. You with me? All right, on to the next one. Next shit is like, suppose you had a gallery... You know, or a museum, and you get into some kind of conversation with some, like, some brainy motherfuckers, and as a nigga artist, you gotta be brainy too, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, you should use the word, like, po post-black, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't, honestly, I don't know what the fuck that means, like, like, because it means after black, and niggas is still niggas, so I don't know, you know, is it like, is someone from the future come back with that term, and... Niggas is like, is like pink in the future or, you know, I mean, like, I, I don't want, I don't understand it, you know what I'm saying? I know it's my duty to instruct y'all to be better artists, but I honestly must say, I don't, I don't get it, I don't get it, I'm, I don't, you know, you can email me if you do know, you know what I'm saying, um, but yeah, alright, fuck this, I don't wanna, I, yeah, I don't, I don't even be knowing about this one, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, internet, calm down, I'm sorry, I don't know. Alright. What? I call this I call this next step or next principle, whatever. I call this the um the dogs the dogs playing poker principle. It's like you ever see that painting with dogs, you know, around the poker table playing poker or like calendars with like cats dressed up like uh firemen and police officers or wearing raincoats, you know what I'm saying? 
that's just cute, right? I said, you, I mean, that's cute, right? And you know, another way to be a successful nigga artist is to paint niggas doing white shit. You know, historically white shit. You know, like pose them, like you know, like a Titian painting. You know, you could paint a nigga looking all regal on a horse, and then the white people could be like, oh my gosh, look at that nigga on a horse. He looks like Napoleon, honey. You know what I'm saying? White people love that shit. They love seeing, you know, they love seeing the other doing shit like what they would do, but still kind of detached and different, you know? So you could, like, you know, hip-hop that shit out, you know? You know? Uh, 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 uh. All right, next. Uh, you know, it's, this shit is so elemental and so basic that I should have put it in the beginning, but I, I don't know. I just wasn't really thinking when I started this video. But, you know, the next shit is slavery. As a nigga artist, you know what I'm saying, slavery is the wellspring of black cultural experience in, in America and also, you know, throughout the world, you know what I'm saying. So it's the source of our black gold, literally. And as a nigga artist, if you don't got anything particularly unique to say, you always have slavery to fall back on, you know what I'm saying? From the Jim Crow era, the antebellum period, civil rights movement, even to the future now when niggas is on the internet and shit. You always got, you know, you always got slavery to fall back on because, you know, white people, they don't really have any shared cultural traumas, you know, other than maybe like the, uh, the, the, the shared disappointment in the series finale of Seinfeld, you know, but that, that really doesn't make for good art. And as niggas, we got mad trauma in our history, and that shit is, you know, you could really fucking bring in the dough. You know, I'm not going to tell you how to use slavery. That's up to you as an individual artist, but same. If you got nothing up your sleeve, you're at the poker table of the art world, pull out slavery, blah, out, you know, full house, royal flush, whatever the fuck, how you in poker. In conclusion, you know what I'm saying? As a nigga artist, you should appear to be angry, um, be unpredictable and exotic to, to, to white folks. Um, appear to be in line with black intellectual um, fads and what not have you and you know exploit slavery in the production of art objects in order to satisfy the voyeuristic needs of bourgeoisie white consuming audiences and say you're doing it to challenge them so you know so basically when they leave your your provocative and challenging solo exhibition they have something to talk about while they eat, while they eat dinner at the Russian tea room and you know you know follow that and you you, you're gonna be a very successful nigga artist and you know that's really it and that, oh yeah on one final note you know Kara Kara baby why didn't she return my emails girl it's what it's, you know, I'm not, I'm not, it's cause I'm light skinned you know you don't wanna fuck with me you fucking with that yankin nigga you fucking with Ophelia that nigga touches shit girl you don't have him finger you he touches shit it's disgusting disgusting you know what I'm saying you so girl I'm just, I'm just all about you you know what I'm saying you keep selling that shit, making that money. If I was with you, I'd take that money and buy shit like this. Some mash made in heaven, girl. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't front, girl. I don't touch shit. Let me put my finger in you. Come on. It's Henny talking right now. All right? I love you, girl. Peace. Holla at me. I love you. Bye, boo.